Hi, Gemini. A welcome and a welcome back to the community. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. So let's hop right into your reading. Great Spirit of the Most High, we call upon you asking for the most highest messages for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Know that we seek the truth, even if the truth is outside of their current paradigm in this moment. And know that we seek the messages for the most highest good, highest good of all, and for everyone that is involved. All right, messages for Gemini. We're going to get your spread out here, Gemini, and I'm going to clarify each of those cards. All right. We have the tower coming out for you reversed. We have the Ace of Pentacles reversed, the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the Ten of Swords, the World reversed, got a lot of reversals going on here. All right, so let's do one more card. And we have the King of Wands. All right, so let's see what's going on here. We have the Tower Reverse and the World Reverse. So two major Arcanas here that are coming out for you reversed. All right. Um, I'm feeling, first thing I'm feeling here is some jealousy coming up. I don't know if that's you or someone directing that energy towards you. That's what I'm feeling. Jealousy is coming up. In some way, I don't know if that's going to be clarified somewhere in the spread, but that's just the initial channel message that I'm getting here. All right, so some of you may have been feeling closed off. There's some sort of oppression. There's something going on. I'm also feeling health issues that may have come up um, for you. This could even be someone around you as well, but I feel like whatever, so there's some sort of change that is happening. It feels like something has been delayed or something is delayed in some sort of way and it's bringing on a level of frustration and it's bringing on a level of um i'm hearing you say gemini this always happens to me it's almost like you're like things you feel that things don't work in your favor for you often like you you're constantly put it in you're being a good person you're doing all of the things and it's like why can't I get my blessing? That's what I'm feeling for some of you. So there's a level of disappointment that's coming up for you because it's like you're you're putting in so much and you're not getting a lot back. But I'm hearing that's like that's just right now. Things are definitely going to change for you, Gemini. And I know that sounds so um, it may sound so redundant, but there's uh, there's always a change. So if you're feeling like you've hit rock bottom. There's nowhere to go beyond that. OK, so rock bottom is the bottom. So that means that you're moving up after this. This is why I feel like some sort of shift. Some of you have been have been in misfortune, um, un unfortunate situations. There's been some misfortune. There's been some defeat in this endings. Okay, that's what I'm getting at. The Ten of Swords is jealousy. Okay, jealousy or hatred in some sort of way. And I feel like some people, some of you, Gemini, are like, I don't understand why people are hating on me. And I'm not even getting all the things that I want. Like my life isn't even where I, I, I want it to be or, or I feel like it should be. And why are people hating on me? Or why is the universe hating on me and all of this, these things are happening to me, okay? Make sure you're not in a victim state of mind, okay, where you feel like this is, this is just a hand that you were dealt. And, you know, you find yourself talking about your misfortunes often. Talking about that often, Gemini, is bringing more of that to you. So it's a good time for you to let this go, which is why the world is here. I definitely feel like there is a slow shift that's happening, but I feel like this, the world, I feel like that things can change for you rather rapidly if you change something. I don't know if that's your mindset, you change your environments, friends, and you can't change your family, but you can step away from them. You can change your job. Like whatever this is for you, Gemini, there has been a lot of heaviness that has revolved around this. I feel like this is the third reading I've, I've done. Aries Taurus and it feels like um, spiritual upgrades that feel very very uncomfortable and I feel like you may be going through a level of that but it feels like yours Gemini is more of a surface thing and um, we're going to get into this as we go into each card and clarify but it feels more of like a surface thing of things that the emotions okay the thoughts that you keep having they, they feel like they are recurring is what spirit is saying so this is an opportunity to change your verbiage changing your language okay the things that you think um 
those turn into a thing, okay? They turn into habits and then that becomes a pattern and then you find yourself in a downward spiral again, okay? So I'm feeling that energy. So make sure you rele you're releasing yourself from victim mentality, okay? Your overall energy for the month of July is that tower reverse that's coming out for you. So some of you could be moving, some of you could be being put out, being evicted, or there's some sort of spiritual transition that is happening for you that feels really challenging for you. You will prevail, but this is an opportunity for you to rebuild. Okay, so you're rebuilding something. Some of you are rebuilding your, your mentality. Some of you are rebuilding, some of I'm hearing, some of you could even be rebuilding the home and you find yourself, um, you're finding yourself, um, in challenging situations when with this rebuild okay so to speak so you might run into permit issues or um, materials on back order or whatever the case may be but that is coming up for some of you but it definitely feels like um, this sort of closed off energy that I'm feeling I'm going to clarify this tower your overall energy why is the tower here for Gemini. So we have the uh, Three of Wands reversed and the Six of Wands reversed. Okay, so very intense energy, emotions, um, just, you know, that is, that's going on here. All right, so some of you are in a position where you keep making the same mistakes you keep making the same mistakes with people this i'm feeling like a relationship for some of you it feels like a recurring thing that may be happening in your current relationship or your relationships in general so it feels like a pattern of something okay because some of you are holding on to something and some of you haven't you're i'm in this position right now i'm feeling this energy of like i I, I keep trying. I keep trying to, to do better, but I find myself in the same situation. Whether you're neglecting something, you're neglecting parts of yourself, you're you know neglecting the person because you want to fulfill parts of yourself. I don't know how that plays out for you here, Gemini, but it feels like there's some sort of imbalance when it comes to your relationships. And for some of you, this is a relationship with yourself as well. So it feels like you keep feeling like you you keep making the same mistakes and it feels like it sets you back and then it puts you in a position here Gemini where you feel like I don't even want to date I don't even want to do this anymore whatever this is for you because it's just going to happen the same way so it feels like you keep comparing the same you keep comparing your situations and then because you're in this victim mentality and this is not for all of you and this is not to get down on you either Gemini just saying that that victim mentality is creating more patterns, is creating the same mistakes and the habits over and over again. And some of you are feel like you you have missed opportunities. Oh, what I'm feeling right now here, Gemini, is <laughs> some of you have been in a relationship with someone. And I, and if, I don't know if this is going to turn into a relationship reading, but I'm just telling you what I'm channeling. Some of you have been in a relationship with someone and you have missed opportunities with another. So it makes me feel like there's something that you keep putting up with and finding yourself in unhappy positions and you're missing your opportunity with other, with someone else or even multiple people. For some of you, it could be in the same friend circle because you have history and you're like, we're ride or die, blah, 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 blah. But maybe you really don't fully resonate on a spiritual level. You could be missing opportunities with other people, building relationships with other people, okay? Hmm. Yeah, because this definitely feels like there's some sort of delays, something that you haven't tapped into that you're trying to and you just don't. I feel like you can't put your finger on something here. OK, so I don't know what this feeling is that's coming up, this repressed or this where you feeling like you're you're feeling like you're oppressed. I feel again, I feel like more victim mentality. It, it, this feels like it, it boils down to your thoughts that creates emotions and those emotions become habits and those habits become patterns. So it feels like this month is about you paying attention to what it is that you're focusing your energy on or who you're focusing your energy on because it feels like there is some sort of repetition here that makes you feel uncomfortable. 
but I do feel like you are ready to move past it. You just don't know how to, okay? Or you might have moments, you may have glimpses of like, yeah, things are looking good and it's feeling good. My life is looking good. And then all of a sudden it's like, bam, you're back to what you feel to be square one, square one right? You just like take two steps forward and then 10 steps back. That's the energy that I'm getting for you. So that energy is coming up for you as your overall, some of you are feeling this during the month of July. And by the way, happy belated birthday, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed your season. Um, and, and maybe this, maybe this is, that's where that's tying in where you, you, maybe you did enjoy your birthday, but it's like, but I still have to deal with this. I'm having a good time in this moment, but then there's still that over there that I have to work through. There's still that over there that I'm pieces of myself I'm neglecting, or I'm neglecting parts of my relationship with someone else because I really don't want to be here. I don't like the feeling that I'm feeling here, um, Gemini, and and I don't know if this is resonating with you. Let me know in the comment section below. But I definitely feel like this is um, a recurring thing that some of you are just wanting to get out of. Let's see if we can change, turn this energy around for you. But, you know, let's move into um, your challenge or obstacle during this month. We have the Ace of Pentacles that is coming out for you. So there may be some disappointment that could be coming up for you. During this time, you're like, Jay, I don't want to hear that. Like, you just talk, you just told me I'm a victim and <laughs> I keep making the same mistakes. But these are things that we have to get through. It definitely feels like this is a month here, Gemini, for you to become aware. Okay, so you just step into awareness. So some of you have um, been in this position where you have, you know, material things have made you, have given you a false sense of security or people around you that have been in your life for a long time have given you a false sense of security. And it feels like you're unfulfilled here, Gemini, and maybe even disappointed. People have disappointed you. Jobs have disappointed your family. Your friends have disappointed you. It feels just like disappointment all the way around. And that it feels like a whirlwind of emotions and a circle that you just, a circle in a cycle that you can't get out, right? A cycle we think of going in a circle, kind of like life. Something that you feel like you just can't get out of. Very interesting. So some of you, if you have not been experiencing this, there's an op there is, I don't want to say an opportunity because this is not an opportunity, but this may, dis some disappointment may come up for you during this 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 month. Um, your expectations about people and things could feel like they're all over the place. And again, we talked about health, the tower card, right? I said some of you are needing to focus on your health as well. So some of you have been maybe even indulging in things that you know are not the greatest for you, the greatest for your health, but you're trying to escape in some sort of way. Let's clarify this Ace of Pentacles. Again, this is not going to resonate with everyone. This is general. These are just messages that I'm channeling in this moment. And it may only resonate with a certain um, group of you. But make sure you check your moon rising and your Venus signs reading. That will give you a little bit more clarity about what's happening in general. Okay. So we have the Ace of Swords as well as the Sun that is coming out for you reversed. All right. So Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Hmm. But it feels the aces bring a, a new energy. So there could be a challenge of feeling disappointed in some way. Um, even bankruptcy, bankruptcy could be coming up for some of you guys. But and I, and I don't know if it's because you could be, you know, again, spending your money on material things that gives you a false sense of security and not really managing your money properly with the Ace of Pentacles energy here. Um and in spirit is just I'm hearing trying to warn you. Okay. I don't know warn you of what. Not sure that how that looks for you. But I definitely feel like there is an energy of you like um feeling like you've made the wrong decision. So that that feeling may come up. Again, this feels like all emotions and thoughts that I'm feeling for you um here. And there 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 are levels. <laughs> There are levels of um, of growth, right? And I definitely feel like some of you are have been in a position of, of being stuck in one level and you're really trying to find your way through, find your way through it, but you find yourself in this position of 
thinking and speaking negatively, which brings in more of that. Okay, but your it things things that they don't feel it doesn't feel like you're fulfilled in some sort of way, and that energy may come up for you as well um, with the sun here in reverse. This is some of you may even be feeling like you're you're lost. It definitely feels like you're you have not really you're not really in a position of doing your work in your internal work because it's like you're looking for surface things to fulfill you in some sort of way. Okay? Where you might feel lost, you might feel blocked, you might feel disoriented in any way, uh, in some sort of way where you feel like there are things that you have you have a lot of potential but then you have you haven't tapped into that energy as well. And but then there's also like a level of arrogance that comes with the sun energy as well. Okay. So some of you could be the false sense of security thing that's giving you this um uh false confidence. Very interesting. There is an opportunity for something new and a fresh start to happen, but it definitely feels like you have to get out of your own way. You have to get out of your mind. Some of you are going to need some assistance because it feels like this has just been a cycle, okay, that a pattern that has been developed, whether that has been passed down generation after generation, that has some that was a learned behavior in your childhood that you're still trying to escape from. But you really have to pay attention to the things that you're thinking about, Gemini. It's the most important thing here. Okay. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. That is, that is coming out reverse and where you're headed. Okay. So some of you may be finding yourself, yourselves working too hard or not working hard enough. And there's some sort of burnout that is happening for you. Um, but I definitely feel that you are very gifted. You're very talented in whatever it is that you do. But I'm feeling like you're just okay with just that. It feels like some of you are, you may be like, I want to do something else, but okay, I know that this is going to give me a specific uh, amount on my paycheck. I don't want to really venture out because right now I'm just focused on money. But it feels like right now is always right now focusing on money, if that makes sense. That you're not, some of you are not willing to venture out because of fear of losing what you have, but then what you have doesn't seem to fully fulfill you in some sort of way, Gemini, okay? We have the Hierophant reversed and the Two of Swords reversed, okay? A lot of reversals coming out for you guys, which lets me know here, Gemini, that there is a lot of things that you're feeling you may not be talking about, but there's a lot going on in that mind, that body of yours. And this is why Spirit is saying you have to take care of yourself and health is an issue because that thing, that that boils up into a dis-ease, okay? That's where disease comes from. It's dis-ease. And that is from an energetic buildup of things that you are not letting go of, you're not talking about, you're not trying to heal or move through. And so it boils up. Some of you are on it also seeing yourself gain more weight because of things that you may be holding on to as well. You have to relieve yourself, okay? So where you're headed during this time is um, realizing that you are investing, thing, investing into things that really they serve a purpose to an extent, but it feels like more of a surface thing. So it feels like like Aries and Taurus of you really working through some things to really uh, to ground yourself and to get in this place of balance. Because some of you may be finding yourselves that you're unfocused or you're living the life of someone else. Some of you could be living the life of the what your parents, how your parents live or what your parents wanted you to do. It's kind of like that thing of like. Be, you, you are a doctor because your dad, your grandpa, and your great-grandfather, your mom, they're all doctors as well. So you're sort of continuing on the, um, the legacy, so to speak. But then some of you are questioning, do I continue on the legacy? I want to do this, and you want to do that, but then there's a fear of doing that because it's the unknown. You don't know how that's going to work out. You know that if you go to school, that if you work for someone and collect a paycheck, that it is it is uh it was it's a for certain it's for certain for you okay so some of you are wanting to get out of the shadows of um some of the relationships that you have been surrounding yourself um 
surrounding yourself by, okay? So I do feel like there is a level of clarity that is going to be coming in for you, okay? But you have to take action towards this. You have to make the decision to say, I don't want this anymore. I want to make a change. And you're going to have to, you know, some of you might, might find yourself, make sure you're not making uh poor judgment on decisions of rushing into something really think about that because some of you can make the wrong choice but if you are tapping into this hierophant energy that is about spirituality it is about balance and again some of you are feeling imbalanced in this moment because you're not sure how i should do it because this is the unknown and i'm fearing the unknown if you step into your that balance that peace you will receive the clarity that you need okay and i'm looking at her you know if she these these swords, she can drop the swords. the The blindfall can easily fall, fall off of her face. This lets me know, though, Gemini, that you guys are in your head. You guys are in your head about the things that could be, won't be. You're not sure, but you rather just stay in this position because it feels a little bit more comfortable. It's easy, although it's not easy. You know how to handle it because you've been doing it for so long. But to think about being challenged in a way that you don't have a solution to makes you feel uncomfortable. Okay, so what's happening in your near future? We have the Ten of Swords coming up for you. So this makes me feel like more loss that could be coming up for you. And that loss could show up in different ways. But that loss is just, I feel like it's the universe moving things and people out of your way in order for you to have a clearer uh, picture or in order for you to have um, more strength because it feels like things are weighing you down okay obviously the swords here are weighing this person down we also have the king of pentacles as well as the six of pentacles reverse for a lot of you this has things to do with your material um your material wealth and success your money so if you've been feeling inadequate in some sort of way i feel like the material possessions may make you feel a certain way make you feel like you're on top I do feel like it's more than that as well, though. Um, but some of you are looking for a, a steady income. You're looking for a steady relationship. You want to grow. You want to provide, but you also want the balance. You want to receive that in return because some of you are also um, financially independent. So Spirit is saying some of you are financially independent or you want to be financially independent. So it lets me know that some of you may be holding something back or there's a mindset of that you can't take care of yourself in some sort of way. Very interesting. I'm also um, getting a, a level of emotion that is coming over me, that is overcoming me when it comes to you speaking, <clears throat> speaking your truths. Or this could even be for some of you... Um, speaking about what speaking what speaking your worth so if you're going into a new job for some of you knowing your worth and asking for what you're worth okay so not just settling for something okay so there there feels like a, a little, some loss some financial hardship that could be coming up or something that feels uncomfortable to you that could be coming up for you here in your near future but spirit is saying that this is some this is a transition for you to transition into into success and sometimes you have to go through trials and tribulations in order to get to the other side of whatever this is because here that you know the 10 the 10 of swords is definitely saying that you know you're feeling debilitated that you're feeling like you can't move and for some of you this has something to do with your health where maybe you physically can't move some of you may be in a position where you have a lot of bills that are piling up and you just can't afford it and it, it just uh, it's making you feel a certain way it's putting you in this position of financial hardship it feels like things are again unequal unfair unjust in this way where you again where this could boil down to mindset for some of you. At the end of the day, I'm going to say it boils down. If you're in this position, it boils down to mindset for all of you. Because if we're thinking about money, finances, uh, money is energy. So if you're in this victim mentality or you're in this mentality of feeling limited or scarcity, it's going to always feel challenging trying to move past your financial woes because this is a thought that you feel that turns into emotion, turns into an emotion. And so there's always going to be a level, a lack of scarcity um, because of what you're thinking. 
okay? So that comes up for you. Some of you are needing a facilitator as I looked at that Hierophant. Some of you are needing help through something, whether you need uh, financial assistance or you're needing to just sort of work through some of your um, past life or childhood traumas. All right, so your advice for the month is the world reverse. So <clears throat> there's going to be some delays that come up, and which I've already mentioned at the beginning, some delays where some of you feel like, oh, I just can't move past whatever I'm going through, okay? Make sure you're staying out of frustration. Frustration brings on more, more, more frustration, and so it puts up a wall. It puts up a wall and blocks things, the, thing, the things that you actually want to bring into your life. It blocks it because it's like, it's also your mentality, right? It's also your mindset. Mindset is key for you guys during this month to really find yourself like think about take a step back when you think about certain things or you find yourself going into the downward spiral or you find yourself in this victim mentality. OK, this is uh, some of you are needing to, uh, again, get with people. OK, get with someone, a professional or get with people. So if you've been isolating yourself. Maybe it's just time to talk about some of the things that you've been going through here, Gemini, so maybe you can get a different perspective. And maybe there's someone that you speak to that has a recommendation for a professional that helped them through the, a same, the same situation because there's a lot of frustration. I'm feeling like a headache coming on because like, there's a lot that is, that's, that's going on in the mind. And some of you are just, um, there's this a level of skepticism that also comes up with this change as well, okay? Some of you may be even in denial about you needing to make changes in your life, okay? So this is a month for you to really think about what it is that you want to change, where do you want to go, what's holding you back. Um, but I can tell you 100% by just looking at the spread and feeling into this energy that it is your thoughts that are creating the things in your life. We also have the temperance and we have the ten of wands. So this is an opportunity for you to heal. It's exactly what I was saying. Finding some sort of facilitator to help you through whatever this is. Okay. And doing things, taking baby steps, doing things in moderation. You don't have to go from zero to 100. You really don't. But this is about you finding balance, trusting the process that there is a new journey. There's You're on a new journey already. And this is the reason why some of you are going to be in this position of really Paying attention to the things that you're speaking, the paying attention to the things that you're thinking, seeing how these patterns are playing out in your life and how you need to make a change. I think some of you are just afraid of the unknown, which I mentioned initially, because this has been heavy. It's exhausting. It's been an overload for some of you guys as well with all of these things that you have been frustrated about or haven't completed or the skepticism that comes up or the lack of being fulfilled or... Um, you know, like I said, I already said the frustration, but the lack of success, all of these things are putting, keeping you in this mindset of this is just the hand that I was dealt. And it really isn't here, Gemini. It's really about you focusing on shifting your mindset, okay, so that you can get out of this, the, the victim mentality, okay? Whatever this is, though, it is definitely coming to an end. So if you feel like things have been delayed for you, you've been frustrated, if you are doing your work here, Gemini, Things are definitely going to be coming to the end. This load here is temporary, okay? You don't have to try harder, okay? And some of you do need to try harder, but I'm feeling you don't have to try. You no, know, I'm going to say you do have to try harder because some of you are just sort of coexisting and you're afraid of what's on the other side because you don't know the steps to take. So you have to try a little bit harder. You have to step outside of your comfort zone in order for this shift to happen. So you are going to need to have a facilitator. That facilitator could be the universe, your divine team, beings, your angels, your guides, your ancestors. This could also be a physical person, a physical being, like I said, a counselor, a spiritual advisor, a healer, someone to help you through this, okay? Because whatever you've been going through has been feeling heavy, heavy but it's ready to be transcended, okay? So keep that in mind that whatever it is that you're going through, you're almost at the end if you put invest a little bit more time and let go of the fear. Your final outcome here is the king of wands. You're very wise and you are a leader, Gemini. Um, 
your I feel like this is this is your energy where you, you know you're honest, you're efficient, you're passionate about things, um, you're passionate about your your family, your friends, the person that you're with, you're passionate about your job. But I sense a change. Why is the King of Wands here? We have the lovers in reverse, your energy, as well as the wheel of fortune in reverse. Look at that. Two major arcanas. Some of you, um, you want what you give out to your relationships. You want what you give to your job, you, the passion, the intensity, the love for it while you're there. Okay. And that doesn't mean you don't actually love your job, but you just, you show up and you be your best self. You try your best to be your best self in that moment. And I feel like that is just what you want back. And some of you are even feeling blocked. You're feeling broken. You're feeling like um, you, you've been betrayed and, and life has been unfortunate and everything has been a setback and there's a lot of frustration, you know, and you're forcing things to happen. Spirit is just saying to sit back and chill. For some of you, there could be someone coming into your life, but I feel like I don't feel like this person is long term. I do feel like this person is here to help you with a transition. OK, and that's who that's King of Wands could be outside of your energy. This could be someone else. This is why I feel like a facilitator for you. Counseling, therapy, whatever, spiritual advising, a healer. Someone to help you through this transition because that's exactly what it feels like. And it feels like things want to change, but you could be delaying things just by what you think about, what emotions you create around your thoughts. Okay, so that is your reading here is, is to definitely focus on um, yourself and what you think about and how to transcend that energy and get some help. Get the help that you need. There's nothing wrong with that here, Gemini. I do feel like things want to change for you, but you may be holding yourself back. This is some sort of self-sabotage, which I'm not sure why the devil didn't even come out. Oh, that's loud. Um, but you guys need to take some time to rest. There's a lot of stress and anxiety that's coming up for you about what the future looks like. And some of you are, again, afraid of the unknown. You sort of keeping your hands over your eyes, sort of like this nine of swords here. She's, her hands are placed over her eyes. And she doesn't want to see what is coming next. She's also in a dark place as well. Okay, when you can remove your hands from over your eyes, turn the light on, and then see what is happening, okay? Let, let yourself see what's happening, where you're going, where your next step is, okay? So don't be afraid of the unknown. Easier said than done, but it can be done. So get the help that you need, okay? That is your reading. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If any part of this resonates with you, like, comment below, share with your family and friends. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell, and I'll see you guys very soon. Enjoy the month of July. Many blessings and love and light to you, Gemini. Peace.